for the supper. Fitness, health, and lifestyle and accountability partner Sandra Pottinger is here to share with us, you know, some tips on how to get in shape. Hi Sandra, how are you doing? I right? am doing pretty good. Yes, 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 for the summer, right? Yeah, man, all set and ready. All set and ready. Yes. So let's start here, Sandra. How did you even get into fitness? Well, uh, my story started in 2018. Mm -hmm. My father was sick, and when people are sick, they follow them to the hospital, and all you hear about is uh, salt and sugar. Mm -hmm. And when you see what is happening, I'm like, okay. I was overweight at that time. Okay. Yes, and I looked at myself, and I'm like, no, I can't continue this way. Yeah. So it was at that time that I finally made that decision okay. to lose weight. The lifestyle choice. The lifestyle choice. Okay. Before it was just going to gym every now and then. Yeah. But there was no conviction. Yeah. But that time, you the conviction it. was there. I found my why. Yes, yes, yes. I yes, yes, right? found like like my why. Why yes. I need to do this? Yes. Because sometimes you need to remind yourself, you know. Yes. Right? You actually mm -hmm. really, really need a why. Yes. So let's get into the why now. For a lot of persons, why should persons make in uh, physical fitness. Why should we stay physically fit? Why should we stay physically fit? Okay. I know that a lot of people talk about sometimes we have to walk up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Have you ever walked up a stairs and like breathe? <laughs> Like, yes. uh, like the one flight of stairs yes. and all her breath. Yes, and um, sometimes we need to do activities with the children, but we can run up and down outside because uh, you know we're just not fit. Yeah. And uh, um, probably they want to walk go a five k mm -hmm. and participate in events or just to live a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, just yes. healthy health and just to help with your health and wellness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I know you have a number of clients. How yes. long have you been doing this exactly? Yeah, from 2018, okay. I started this journey. Okay, you okay. started your journey. Yes. How do you keep your clients motivated? Because a lot of the times, as you mentioned before, you know, you go to the gym today, you might stay consistent for a month or two, mm -hmm. maybe three months, then you fall off. And you know, so when you fall off, one of the worst things yes, to yes, back it is. That it is one of the worst things to just kickstart your journey again and just just start just yes. get up on the morning and go yes so tell me how you keep your class motivated well first i like when my clients have their why because when you know why you're doing something mm -hmm. it's easier for you to continue on that journey so i'm there as an accountability partner to say hey remember that you need to do this remember okay. that you need to either prepare your supermarket list have your food ready for next week are where you need to have it. Yeah, man, meal planning is definitely mm -hmm. necessary. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or, you know, what to do in next week? Or on the weekend, suppose you never get to go to the gym during the week. Yeah. Probably you can do a walk ahead on the weekend. Change the body a bit. Yeah, man, yeah, okay. man. Because, you know, we don't just say gym alone, we say just being active. Okay. Yes. So whether you want to walk with him, whether you want to go to a party, yes. Mm -hmm. Just play like football. Nice, beautiful football. <laughs> yes. You know, some swim. Yeah, whatever activity you enjoy. Dance, doing. maybe, who yeah. knows? Just, just something. Active. Okay, all yes, right. Yes, so yes. I, we, we've actually touched on it, touched on it not too long ago. The food, <laughs> because we, I, I know that a lot of persons always say yes. abs are built in the kitchen. <laughs> all right. Yes. And in addition to that, uh -huh. you can be going to the gym and working out and working out and working, but what you put inside your body is just as, if not more important than yes. the exercise that you do. Yes, so yes. list some food items that you would. Let's start here. Not eating up. List some food items that you. Help to stay away from it high sugar high sugar high sugar um, like over indulging in things okay. because I think having something every now and then is okay but yeah. a lot of time how many persons can have one Oreo one yeah. Oreo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's okay to have one, but how many persons can have so one Oreo? Oreo? There's four Oreo coming back. <laughs> yes, yes. Maybe yes. six, you know. Let's yes. get yes. Six. Let's just start with a small yes. cup four. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. So, um, that is... Um, so. Yeah. That is what's important. Yes, so it's yes, not yes. what you eat really, but how much of it you yeah. can take it. Yes, proportion okay. control is very necessary, but... Um, how many persons have that uh, strong uh, strength, that strength in them when it comes down to proportion control? So control. Yes, because we are like pineapple, but how many of us are going to have one slice? 
something that is probably in the whole time after the whole time. Yes. Words of this shit, like, you know. So I'm like, boy, it's like, 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 it's has a lot to do with it. So it's not necessarily, in addition to, to foods are, that are high in sugar, like yes. your sodas and your sweet things, your cake yeah, and cake pastry, and it's okay to have it once in a while or not too much any at all? Not too much any at all, but I say once in a while from my personal experience, what I'm trying to do. Still do the things you enjoy but don't overindulge. Okay. So portion once in a while. Once in a while. Yes. You know what happened? I'm going to tell you my personal experience yes. too. Imagine you cut off, you cut like you know, you cut off, say you cut off cheesecake. I love cheesecake. Mm -hmm. You cut off cheesecake totally. And when is your body start craving for it? Because you know you're feeling you see you for that sugar, you want that, you you, you miss that taste, right? Mm -hmm. And you're saying, okay. So when you actually get that cheesecake, instead of taking one bite, you end up having the whole slice. But if it is that you take a little one bite, mm -hmm. no, the once in a while, and you say, yeah. okay, let me treat myself, you cheat me, you take another one bite, it's okay. Every it's once. A, every once, once in a while. Once in a while. No matter starve yourself and yeah. then you go over and down. Yeah. That doesn't make no sense. Yeah. You don't eat every weekend. Yeah. 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 No, 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 every weekend. That's every weekend. <laughs> All right, Sandra, before we go, share five mm -hmm. tips uh, for persons, so, you know, just get, get physically fit with someone to get in shape. So share five tips with us before we go. Get active. Get active. Yes. Um, work out whether you want to be at the gym, the home, whether you want to walk, run, hike. I just need you to maintain level of being active. Increase your metabolism. Start Do somewhere. what you enjoy also. Yeah. Yeah. I promote that. Do what you enjoy because you're going to want to get up and do it. Okay, so yes. get physically fit. Just start moving. Yes. Just get moving. Keep moving. Too. Do it. Do something that you like. Yes. Okay, yes. all right. And then what else? What else? Next one is eat healthy. The diet. Yes. Okay. Yeah, eat healthy. So don't starve yourself. Mm -hmm. Eat food, but make them have them make. Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> Yeah, eat your food. Yes. Eat your food. Eat your food. Mm -hmm. Exercise wisdom okay. in your choices of food selection. Right. So, so you want protein, conscious. Yes. Yeah. Protein. Eat your meat. Protein mm -hmm. keeps you fuller longer. Have okay. your grown provisions. Yeah. More food that you prepare and less that's processed. Okay. Yes. Okay. Meal prep is also good. Okay. Because with meal preparation, you know what you're going to eat. I know what ahead. I'm going to eat. Yes. Okay. Definitely. You know how much salt, you know how much oil, you yeah, know much butter. You prepare your food so, so you, you know, know exactly what's what there. Really in it. Yes. Okay. So meal, meal prep is good when it comes down to healthy eating. All right. And yeah. I know Santa, where can I find you? Persons are interested in getting physically fit, getting that to my body. It's still not too late. How can you find that? You can find is get fit with sunshine sandy. All right. Yes. <laughs> sunshine sandy, bright yes. hair. Sandra, really bright. Really, really sunshine sandy. Fashion, really bright this Saturday morning. Yes. Sandra, thank you so much for joining us on Weekend Smile. Thank you you so shared much. some fantastic tips with us this yes. morning, you guys. Start moving, doing something what you like, you yes. prep, watching your diet, making more conscious choices will help you to get that summer body that you desire. Sandra Pottinger, fitness, healthy lifestyle, and a conference partner, right? Yes, thank you so much, Sandra. So, this is that, or exciting activity, we're